There you go. If McDonald's had uh, Slaughterhouse right in the, the building with them, <laughs> do you think people would eat there? No. Probably not, no. No. What are your thoughts on um, the animal agriculture industry? So like meat, dairy, egg industry, that sort of thing. I never really thought of that, too. Yeah? You know what I mean? Do you think that uh, they're necessary things for us to survive or to, to for us to do? Well, how long have we been surviving on? It's very true, right? Like we, we've yeah. been doing it forever. Do we have to do it though? Do we have to eat uh, eggs? Do we have to eat meat? No, Can we survive off plants? I don't think so. Do you, do you do know what a vegan is? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do you know, like, what, what's your definition of veganism? Uh, well, just eat vegetables and stuff like that. No meat, no meat, no meat, no meat or no nothing like that. Yeah, that, that's part of it. Yeah. Um, veganism is actually, it's not a diet. It's actually a lifestyle. So yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. you're basically um, um, rejecting any kind of animal exploitation, yeah. whether it's from meat for, or yeah. for your clothing or certain yeah. things. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so basically that's what I'm advocating out here. Um, I have a short video. Do you mind if I show you? It's no, a little bit graphic. No, not really, man. I just, uh, my legs are bothering me. I just, first time I was out for a walk in a week, so. Oh yeah? Just, uh, uh, yeah do, so, do you think that like when we kill animals that, against their will, do you think, would you consider that animal abuse? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Oh, puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if we consider it animal abuse, and I also do, I think it's animal abuse, um, and it's against their will, um, should eat? we do it? What do you eat? I, I'm a vegan, so okay. I've been vegan for six years, and uh, basically I eat everything that never had a face or came from something that had a face. So, I mean, I don't eat, eat meat, eggs, uh, dairy, I don't wear leather, anything like that came from an animal skin. What um, what's that? Is that leather? No. This is, uh, it shouldn't be leather, no. This is a uh, winter coat. I've been doing this for 60 years, eating, yeah. eating eggs. And yeah, I know, and, and I did for 35 years of my life, yeah. and I made the change because I watched a video, um, and I just said to myself, I'm saying, this animal here, he, they don't want to die. No, no. They, 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 they try to get out of the slaughterhouses, yeah. right? Yeah. Have you been to a slaughterhouse? Uh, no. Why, why haven't you? I don't know, I just, I just never went. I mean, there was a slaughterhouse where I'm from. Yeah. I just never went. If, if you had a choice between going to a slaughterhouse or an orchard or a, a garden, which one would I you choose? I probably wouldn't see them slaughter an animal. I probably would need it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, true enough. I mean, the the, the fact that uh, th that's, that says something right there, eh? Like yeah. if we are seeing the act, the act. So why would we pay somebody to do that for us? Well, when we grow up, when we were growing up, there were 10 of us, we were so poor. You know, we had to eat uh, duck, geese, mm -hmm. you know, we hunting deer, moose. And yeah. No choice. Yeah, what about now? Uh, I'm the same way. I don't eat a lot of meat now, no. Okay. No, no. So... It's too expensive for one thing. Well, that's true. It, it is expensive, yeah. Um, I'll but eat, I'll eat Kentucky Fried Chicken once in a while. And, yeah. You know, I mean, hamburger. I don't eat a lot of stuff. So, would you consider an injustice what we do to animals if you said it's an animal abuse, right? It's. Yeah. It would be... Would you consider the word injustice? I would say, yeah. So, would we just kind of do... Something like that on the side, like uh, doing injustice every couple days. Like you said, you eat meat like maybe once a day or once yeah, a week or something like that. Month, is the answer to do it once a week or to not do it at all if it's an injustice? Well, it's probably not do it at all. Yeah. yeah. Is it just that you don't know what to do or like have you? No, no, it's just the way I grew up. Yeah. The way I grew up, that's what, that's what we, were, we were poor, and, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the way I grew up. I've yeah. been doing it for 60 years. Right. You know? Yeah, no, but just because we've done something for a long, long, long time, yeah. does it mean we should continue to do it when we know better like in I the future? Like I said, if I went to a slaughterhouse, I'd probably wouldn't do it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's the thing is if, you, if you're not, yeah, if you're gonna see animal footage or yeah, people, yeah. animals getting killed, it will yeah. turn you off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but what does that say about us as individuals if we can't even see the process? Oh, there you go. There you go. If McDonald's had uh, Slaughterhouse right in the, the building with them, <laughs> do you think people would eat there? No. Probably not, no. No. But that's the way the world is, you know? But does it have to be? No, you don't have to be, you know, but... I don't know how many vegans are there? How many vegans? Yeah, how many? Uh, they say, well, it depends on what country you go to. Yeah. Uh, in Here in North America, it's about 3% of the population. All right. That's vegan and vegetarian. Yeah. But true, strict vegans, yeah. uh, probably about 1%. All right. And it is a growing thing, right? Oh, yeah, for But, sure. I mean, like... 20 years down the road. The, the way it's growing, though, yeah. is because people like me and you are starting to wake up, right? Yeah. yeah. 
And uh, when, and I mean, I just met an, uh, veg, uh, a vegan that was just like you. She was uh, 67 a couple of years ago and she decided, okay, I'm going vegan. Is that right? She aligned her actions with her values yeah. because she's saying, yeah, this is animal abuse. I don't want to participate in it. That's but okay. then she went and got a steak sandwich there yeah. the other night. What's this there about her system though? You change from there and change over there. But... Sorry? What you say about your system? You're eating meat one day. Oh, you mean like you're... health reasons? Yeah. There, there's no, uh, they've, that, uh, they've done studies. That changed, but that changed that quick. But... Yeah, I, I went. I went vegan overnight. I stopped eating meat, and right? like I, I actually gained weight. Believe it or not. No. Is but that right? uh, there's no. Uh, they've actually done studies. There's no health uh, risks going vegan. It actually improves yourself, right? Yeah. It's actually better for uh, dealing with heart disease because you don't eat cholesterol, right? Yeah. So it actually is a lot better for you. Yeah. But I'm not out here for health, actually. But like I do have some health pamphlets here, so it kind of give you a little bit more information. Is it okay if I give you one or two? Yeah, sure. This is that's the the um, some really good meals to make yeah. uh, vegan ones. Yeah and cheap food. Like it's the cheapest stuff, right? Is that right? This is more of like for the environmental stuff. So you don't go to McDonald's anymore and get yourself a burger or anything like that or what? So you can get french fries there, they're vegan. Are they? Yeah, and actually, and believe it or not, uh, they're actually coming out with a vegan um, McDonald's. It's called the McPlant. Oh yeah, is that right? Yeah, they had it in uh, um, Europe for the longest time and it's finally starting to come over here. Is that right? I think it's in Toronto now, but uh, I just go to um, the a &W. They got the Beyond Meat Burger. Oh, yeah. And that's that's my thing. The, even KFC has a vegan burger. Oh, a meat burger. Do you like that? A meat? Good is it good? The the Beyond Meat burger? Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, no, I've I I, I can eat a couple of those, so. <laughs> I, never, I never never thought to try one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one of them. Yeah, so to make it vegan, all you have to do is just ask for no cheese and uh, no mayo, and it's it's vegan. So it comes vegetarian because yeah, yeah. the mayo and the cheese, but yeah. I, we don't get that because you know the dairy industry is actually worse than the meat industry, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what they do with uh, male cows, like day one of life? Um, I know you don't want to see any footage, so I'll just explain it to you. <laughs> I have the footage, and it's pretty graphic, but. Um, Day one of uh, life of a female uh, cow yeah. uh, from her mother, she gets to go to the dairy calves or to the the dairy processing, right? To grow up and, and eventually yeah, yeah, produce yeah, yeah. milk, right? Yeah. Eat them right full of stuff. Males are useless because they don't produce milk, so they just get shot on the farm or they get uh, slaughtered right? and for veal. Yeah. Is that right? right? And the worst um, sounds that will ever come from a farm, apparently, from farmers and undercover investigators, yeah. is a mother cow crying out for her lost oh, baby. Oh, I don't do that. Because they, they're like, well, we need her milk. Yeah. This calf is drinking the milk. Yeah. It's time to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, basically yeah. what the farmers say, right? And they yeah. sell them to the veal. They just get rid of them. They're, they're a useless product. Is that right? I, you can't sell them? You don't do that, something like that? Or what? They well, the, I mean, they can sell them, but who's going to buy them, right? Only meat companies, right? Yeah. So they get killed anyways. And it's just yeah, like, right. is that really ethical? Is that, yeah, right. is that, is that would be considered abuse in my eyes. Yeah. Would, would you agree with that? Yeah. So it happens in all of, for dairy, for eggs, even for honey, believe it or not. Like I know a lot, not a lot of people think of that, but uh, they actually artificially inseminate the, the bee, the queen bee, cut her wings off so she can't leave the, the, the hive ever for the rest of her life. And then uh, the colony collapses after we've taken all the honey. I didn't, I didn't know that, is that right? There is no limits to the amount of suffering that we cause on this oh, earth. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm full of steroids and anyway, you yeah. have a nice day, man. One final question for you there. What do you think you'll do after this conversation? Uh, go home and relax. <laughs> Has this uh, yeah, I got thought of anything for a change? I got another one card left here, and I want you to watch this when you go relax. Yep. If you're ever on YouTube, yep. the best speech you'll ever hear. I'm on YouTube all the time. It's, a, it's about an hour long. It's a guy talking in front of a bunch of university students. Oh, is that right? And it is the best speech you'll ever hear. Is that right, eh? And if you decide to make the switch to vegan, we're, we're here to help you out. Vegan22.com at the bottom. Okay, man. Have a good day. Have a good day. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much. Don't tell me you believe that. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fight back.